Ladies and gentlemen, it's a pretty good day to be an Arsenal fan. Alexis Sanchez objective, which we're about to cover now, along with a Terry Henry SBC and a soon to be 99 rated showdown Declan Rice. This will age absolutely awfully if, if we lose, by the way, so... I guess we'll soon see. But anyways, let's get into it. And I do want to mention, not only do you get Alexis Sanchez from this objective, but you also get an Arnautovic, which will be awesome for chemistry. All you'll need to get either Arnautovic or Sanchez on full chem would be one more CDR player. Or in fact, you could literally go Arnautovic, Sanchez, and then a Chilean manager from the Serie A, and then they will both, or Sanchez will be on free chem, Arnautovic will be on two chem, all right? If you've got Alaba, in fact, if you have Alaba and Arnautovic, you could have both players on full chem with a Chilean Serie A manager. First of all, you've got play nine matches and squad battles on at least semi-pro, rivals, or foot champs. Just playing nine matches is easy as that. You've got score a goal using a striker during five separate matches. Now, I do want to clarify a striker has to say striker on the card. It cannot be a center forward played on zero chemistry at striker. It cannot be a player that starts as a cam in game, but in game moves up to a striker. That will not work. It has to be a striker in the striker position. You can move that in game, but as long as you go into the game with a striker starting on the striker position okay it says three goals using through balls having moments Marco Arnautovic in your starting 11 so it looks like what you're going to want to have to do is score a goal using a striker in five separate matches unlock this Arnautovic then get him in your starting 11 and do the final three objectives here but it says three goals using through balls whilst having Arnautovic in your squad now Arnautovic does not have to be the one giving the through balls but a through ball is pretty simple triangle if you're on playstation why if you are on xbox different variants of through balls will work as well for example if you double tap it it's like a double like a low driven or a little bounce through ball or whatever that will count um if you do l1 or lb if you're on xbox plus triangle slash y and do an over the top through ball that will also count so if it's a variant of a triangle or y through ball it will still work score two goals during three squad battle wins on semi pro or rivals or ch uh, foot champs now this you do now actually in fact this is probably where some confusion is because usually they will say score two goals using moments Marco Arnautovic in free squad battle wins. But this says score two goals during free squad battle wins on at least semi pro rivals or champs using moments Arnautovic. Now, I would assume that they mean you have to score two goals with Arnautovic, but I've also made it pretty confusing. You may be able to just score two goals and. No, no, not, not with Arnautovic and just have him in the squad. But I'll assume by looking at this, if I've just worded it differently than they usually do, I'd assume they mean you have to score two goals in three separate matches with Arnautovic. Lastly, we've got win seven matches whilst having Marco Arnautovic in your starting 11. So it's pretty self-explanatory after you really get going and you obviously unlock your Alexis Sanchez. In terms of a squad builder, it's very, very nice. It makes my job very easy and it probably trims a couple minutes off this video because there's no requirements in terms of usually with objectives, it's with at least four Serie A players, at least three, whatever, right? You do not need anyone here except for the man himself, Arnautovic. Like, score a goal with a striker, get Arnautovic, get him in your squad, assist goals with through balls whilst having him in your squad, score two goals with Arnautovic, and just win seven matches with Arnautovic in your squad. You do not need anyone in your squad other than Arnautovic. You don't need other CDR players, etc., etc. So that's awesome. So the one thing I will give you guys or tell you guys is you have to make the decision. Do you want to do it in squad battles or do you want to do it in foot champs or rivals? Now, in my opinion, opinion the most I say consistent way the most like least tedious way in my opinion would be to score a goal using a striker in five separate matches I would do this in rivals or foot champs because I don't really want to sit through five games of squad battles because even if you lose the match but score with a striker in rivals or foot champs sure squad battles will be easier but you just need to get a goal with a striker in separate games rivals or foot champs you could get some rage quits there but also it's obviously a lot less tedious playing an opponent a real life you 
human than the AI and just easily battering them. So it's up for you to decide. But personally, I would score a goal using a striker in five separate matches on squad battles, on, oh, sorry, not on squad battles, on rivals or foot champs instead of squad battles. And then after you do that, you will get Arnautovic. And then you could decide, now that Arnautovic is in the club, if you want to just get free through ball assists, maybe one squad battles game. And within that squad battles game, you get free through ball assists within that singular game. So you don't have to worry about that. Um, and then obviously you could maybe just do the two goals in three separate matches if you want to play a few squad battles because there's no guarantee you'll score two plus with Arnautovic in rivals or champs. It's really just up for you guys to decide. As I said, I think I'll do this one in rivals or foot champs. Then after you get Arnautovic in the squad, you can decide if you want to do these three objectives here in rivals, champs, or squad battles. Personally, I'd probably do them in rivals or champs. So I might even just play one singular squad battles and just try to get a through, the through balls assist. And I wouldn't blame you if you guys did squad battles to get the two goals. Because as I said earlier, there's no guarantee of getting two plus goals with Arnautovic in rivals or foot champs. And I'll leave you guys with this one last squad battles tip. If you guys are planning on doing it on squad battles, make sure you absolutely batter your opponent with the squad battles tip. With the squad battles tip, you get given four teams every single selection a 73 rated with two chemistry is by far the worst so we can go ahead select the minimum difficulty which we're allowed which is semi-pro and we should be able to obliterate this team by at least 10 9 8 goals right so you can get lots of objectives done now the option is not there now but after you play this match you will have an option to update your opponents by pressing square on the playstation or x if you're on xbox and it will give you a whole other team now that will then once again after you use your update opponents that feature will disappear but 15 minutes it will come back so it works perfectly. You can play a poor team, refresh, play a poor team, refresh, so on and so forth. That way you can just keep playing awful Kim, awful rated teams, and absolutely obliterate them instead of having to try and score past 96 rated defenders and their AI. Even on semi-pro, that could sometimes be a little bit trickier. Any other questions, lads? Make sure to let me know down below. It's been your boy Davis, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.